All right, welcome to the Sanctum, everybody. This is Ale, and today we're going to review the Goddess Powered Oracle Deck by Colette Baron Reed, illustrated by Jenna uh, Del Gradalea. Hi, puppy. Come here. Are you saying hi? You are. So, you're probably wondering why I don't have everything out on this particular deck. Literally, this deck arrived 15 minutes ago. Um, while I was filming another review. As you probably know, I batch film a lot of this. So you and I are literally doing an unboxing together where I haven't even done any of this prior to um, anything. So you get to see me fumble and deal with this. What the heck? How do they do this? Help! Help! So I wanted this deck from the first time they said that this deck was coming out. They said, El, we know you like the goddesses. So we are deciding in the, in the givingness of givingness ways that we're going to create a deck that is basically going to say, it's about you, girlfriend. And so I do not want to rip this. How the heck did they do this? Um, and so I, what I wanted to do, I guess it does pop off somehow. I will figure this out if I have to. Actually, I don't want to rip this front of it off because it's part of the Thing, but I guess I have to. How rude. Um, so I always love the goddesses and gods. It has been something I've grown with for so long that I have never in my life ever been without the gods and goddesses. I'm going to try to do what my mom says. It's not something I ever should do, but I really She's not here anymore to argue with me. So she's going to have to just yell at me from above. Um, this reminds me of the mystical shaman deck. But um, one of the things that... Really? It's going to be like this. Why would you do this to me? Um, there we go. Aha. Flip it off to the side. Ooh, flip box. Oh, goody, it is just like the shaman deck. I like the fact that I get to learn more about the goddesses that she's chosen. And I've played on her website. So if you don't get this deck, you can play it on her website. This is the mystical, the magical, the... Numinous quality of life is the domain of the fierce and creative feminine aspect of the universe. So here's the guidebook. Here is the deck. And there are the cards. On the, it's the first card in there. And I love the fact that she has it set up this way. And I'm so glad that Hay House has decided to... Um, I don't know. I love the flip. I love this flip style. I do. Um, the reason is, is because I like pr the deck presentations for this purpose. Ooh. Magic is everywhere. And the goddess will help you claim it. I love it. And by the way, I love the fact that they have this, this where you can take the box with you wherever you go for just the deck. Um, so being who we are. We're going to toss everything to the side. Sit. Or I'll say sit again. So ooh. Now the one thing about this deck, about the book, and I'm going to say this about this book versus, and it's the same thing with the shaman book, is the book because it is sewn. Um 
eventually it's probably it's going to end up having to it's going to either come apart or it's going to have to be re -sewn. but it's not a bad thing it's just um, the bookie in me knows so it's a fairly big decent book it's it's big um, it's not like one of the smaller books where it's thicker where we can just take it everywhere so it's a big book that you know to go into your purse you have to use your larger purse for this for carrying how rude I know right um, and the nice thing about it is that it talks about the goddesses it talks about the initiations it talks about um, what she did it talks about asking questions about messages and upside down cards um, when it's upright you read the empowerment message when it's reverse you read the alignment message it means that um, reverse doesn't mean it's a bad thing it's a superstition what it does mean is for her is that alignment message are strong meaningful messages meant to help us for our highest good they usually appear when we find ourselves lost off track or repeating patterns not conducive to the life we desire for ourselves or our loved ones now i'm going to be honest with you i have always loved that aspect about colette baron reed's books uh index is because reverses aren't always bad things I mean, sometimes we reverse out of the driveway because we got to get the hell out of the driveway, right? Seriously. Sometimes we go in reverse and go back down the aisle because we saw something that caught our eye and realized, oh my God, that would make the perfect X, Y, and Z this week that I got to do for, you know, for work or for so-and-so's birthday. It makes us sit back and redo and rethink card goddess power council spread the special guidance spread from the goddess uh menemy uh menacine the four jewels of the goddess spread full moon illuminating spread the new moon uh and attention activation spread the course correction card oh yeah um so the book of course the cards are in black and white but it gives you all the information regarding empowerment and alignment and we're going to go through and look at the cards and they are quite intriguing actually um like i said i looked at the deck online a bit and i love the backs because that's the back of the card Adaptability, Aphrodite, Romantic Love, and Rob Time. She is the silver wheel within the Celtic Pantheon. Artemis is Focus. Athena, the goddess of knowledge and war. Benzigen, Beauty. Branwen. Forgiveness. Really? What are you doing there? Come on, what are you doing? Brigitte, Creative Spark. Which is kind of funny. I would have thought it would have been Caridwin. But Caridwin is potential. Which makes sense. Shango. Get your butt out of there. Come here. Danu. Assurance. Demeter. Nurturer. Elan patterns Eoster Epona Freya Gaia Green Tara Shango, come here Gula Hakati Hera Hestia Iris Ishtar 
Isis. Kali. Which I actually like that picture of Kali. That's actually a gorgeous one. Kuan Yin. Lacey. Lilith. Mama Kila. Mama Kocha. Maya. Mentis. Nemesin. Morgan. Nike, Mix, Oshan, I love that picture, Parvati, Persephone, Rhea, Saraswati, Shakti, Old. One of my favorites, by the way. She's one of the Nords. Sophia. Spider Woman. The Sume. White Buffalo Calf Woman. Yihi. And Yuki Ono. That's a gorgeous picture, by the way. I think it's probably one of my all-time favorites so far of all the, all the pictures here. So there are 52 cards. Um, the deck itself is a thicker deck. Um, like, a lot of these decks are becoming in Hay House, especially when they're matte. And now these are a little bit thinner of a, a card. Um, it's thicker than most of the regular decks that you feel, but the matte effect does um, play play here, which is good. Now the cards are definitely shuffleable. I love that. I love that so much. Um, this reminds me. I need to play my gifty from Colette Marion Reed's website so I can get the extra meditation. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, I actually have this app, which I like because it means when I don't have the cards with me, I can actually meditate with the cards, which is great. And I have our meditation app, which is really wonderful, by the way. So we're going to take a stroll here and we're going to do a reading. This reading is going to be simple. We're going to, basically, we're going to tune into the goddess energies. Um, if you saw my Feminine Divine reading review, we're going to do similar to that. We're basically going to tune in to see what kind of energies we need to work with, what's being told to us, um, what we need to look at as being part for us. So, Nike, Shakti, Aaron Road. Let's talk. So, with these four cards, what we're looking at is we're looking at what we need to look at for regarding our ourselves. What kind of things are we looking at? So, with Nike, it's all about ambition. What is our ambition telling us? Are we being ambitious enough? Are we not being ambitious? Um, now. Ambition is a, is a kind of an unusual thing. It's asking you to be present to the beauty and richness discovered in your life so far. You've come this distance, so what are your wins? Celebrating them is key right now to enable you to co-create even more. 
You live in a world where you may have felt that you were not allowed to celebrate your victories lest you be cut down for being self-centered. Perhaps you were raised in a family that discouraged you from shining in any authentic way. That would be me. Being successful at the game of life requires you to refuse the message that you are too much or not enough. Your biggest win is to be yourself, accepting yourself exactly as you are, releasing the idea that you are flawed in any way, and expressing yourself with authenticity. This is the true power of the victor, victory goddess Nike expressed through you. The goddess Nike has another message for you. If you've been struggling to move you to the next level of your life, working hard and putting the time and effort in, you will soon find you are finally winning. Your determination and commitment to your intentions are manifesting in your life with beautiful results. When you are winning, the world wins too. Just remember to share your bounty. So, ambition is not a bad thing when you realize that you do still have faults. You have things to recover from. The story of Nike, the story of victory, um, is interesting. Um, if you've never read the story, you should look it up. It's available online. Through, you can Google it. You can um, use Bing, uh, whatever search engine you do. Winged victory. The story of the winged victory statue is intriguing as well. Um, I would definitely um, tell you to read that story because it will give you a very big sense of what this is about for you personally. Um, ambition is what you make of it. It's not bad to be ambitious. Overly ambitious perhaps. Then you're trying to outdo others to a point where you're stepping on them, not helping them. You don't have to hurt others or step on others to get ahead. I know in this world it seems like you should, but you don't. There's more than enough to go around. It's not, it doesn't have to be a zero sum game. Shakti, transformation. This is such a beautiful, beautiful picture. Look at that. Transformation is huge for all of us. Now, what it says in here is, wonderful change is afoot in your life when the Hindu goddess Shakti comes to support you. All your longing, desire, and focus on something better in your life, coupled with your willingness to do the work, has ignited the life force energy of the great goddess. She responds now to bring your heart's desire. Know that now is the perfect time to move into the highest version of yourself. Are you ready for this change you so badly wanted? Everything depends on how honest and clear you have been and how willing you are now to explore other ways of being authentic in the world. You have the magical feminine divine energy of the creator goddess Shakti to help you when you become open in doing things differently. You are stepping into your destiny. Do so wisely and without guile. And you will be amazed at the way your world awakens with breathtaking beauty. So, a lot of us say that we want to change. We want to do things differently. We want to be open to various things, transformations. We want to transform the way we, we believe. We want to be healthy. We want to be better at work. We want to have love in our life. We want to do X, Y, and Z. But we're not willing to do the work. Not truly. We just want it to happen. Poof, there it is. Well, poof, it's not going to happen like that. Sorry. <laughs> Magic comes from within. Uh, first, you have to will it into existence. You have to believe in it. And then you have to work at it. If you energetically move your will into believing it is happening, it is there, it is believable, you believe it is before you like nothing else, then it comes. Your ambition and transformation are right there. They're facing each other. They're telling you. Your transformation and ambition can come true. And rude time. Time happens. You need time to transform. You need time to bring your ambition to where it needs to be. The other thing about time, about Erin Rude, is that she is the Celtic goddess of the silver wheel of life and death, of transformation. She brings forward what you need to know. Right now you have all the time in the world to reach the fullest potential of your intentions and desires. Erin Rude, the goddess, the Celtic goddess of time is your ally and she will ensure your timing is perfect. The hours will expand to gift you with the space you need to complete anything that you started. Today, recognize that no matter what it is in front of you, time is your friend. 
Consider that everything you intend and desire also has its own relationship to time, and all will come to you in the perfect form and in the perfect moment. Patience, dedication, and quiet anticipation are delicate yet potent allies now. Air and mood is your champion, and your timing is perfect. So this is an, an inner aspect that is important for you to realize. When you work within times, within time you are and are aware of how time truly is then you begin to realize that time is on your side that you can work within the realm of time and time seems to stop and magnify and lengthen have you ever worked fallen into a groove and when you wake up hours have gone by and you've accomplished so much but you never noticed that time flew that's what we're talking about being within the time of Aaron Root. Um, she's actually one of my favorite goddesses. In fact, I have um, spent time under her tutelage. Uh, I will tell you that working with her has been a beautiful time. It has been tough. It has been rough because, let me tell you, time is not as linear as you would hope it would be. But at the same time, too, it is beautiful how things come about. They say history doesn't repeat itself, but the core issue does. And they are right. The core issue can come up again if it was never resolved the first time. It comes up in different ways to make sure that you have actually learned your lesson. That is something that she does. She brings forth and makes you show, have you learned what, you, what your truth is? She also gives you the ability to stretch out that moment, to see in clarity in that moment what is truly there. You know when people talk about time slowing for them and when something is when something major is happening, that is a gift from her. That adrenaline rush that kind of aspect is something that she does that helps you to be able to make decisions perfectly for others to keep yourself safe and and help others to become safe don't don't deny that ability use it wisely now spider woman is about co-creation this card is probably one of the few cards that I I am not a spider lover. I really don't like spiders. But the tale of the spider woman is actually one of my favorite stories. Um, it is also very important because it is a Navajo tradition. And I was raised with a lot of uh, Cherokee traditions. And it is one of the very few Navajo stories I actually truly enjoy. Um, I had a, a chance to um, meet a lot of the, to get a hold of a lot of that um, a while back, and it was just amazing for me. So it says, from the rich red earth, the Navajo goddess Spider Woman rises up to help you weave your dreams into the fabric of reality. She is here to remind you that your vision of the form of your desire is not what is important as its essence. Knowing why you want to create something, what motivates you, what inspires you, what beauty you're dreaming to bring to life is key at this time. The collective dream is being manifested by the co-creative relationship between your imagination and the universe. So call to the best within you and weave your world into being with the intentionality and humility. Remember that you cannot control the form except life and life's terms. When the goddess spider woman appears, she heralds the creation of a most beautiful dream that springs to life as if by magic. Stay with it. We need your dream to be added to the web of all creation. So, she reminds you that you create by thought. You create by doing. That your creation brings joy and peace to this universe but it also brings something that may increase and give breath of creation to someone else to create above and beyond so without your creation 
you may not, we may not have a creation from somebody else that could save the world in a different way. You are a step of creation that brings another step of creation. So never think that your ideas are not important. They are important. Each of these goddesses bring to you a gift, a gift of ambition without feeling self-indulgent. Transformation that's deep, that guides you and directs you. The gift of time without feeling that you're out of time. And co-creation, knowing that your creation can inspire others to do better and be better. These are gifts from above and below, from around us and within us, to take the divine energy and to become something more. So this is the Goddess Power Oracle by Clip Baron Reed. And I'll be honest with you, I'm you are probably gonna see this deck show up in a lot of readings um, over the next few weeks or so. Um, as I get used to using them. It is definitely a 7 out of 7 chakras. Um, I love the way it feels. I love the energy of these cards. I loved using it on the website and when I needed some inspiration, when I needed to answer a question, I would pull um, a card on the, online just to help me to get my thought process in order and it was always revealing the truth to me so I know for a fact that this deck is going to be that deck for me um, just like the, the mystical shaman deck is also uh, a deck for balance and for right for me as well uh, this is going to be in that same vein so hopefully you will enjoy this deck as well I would highly recommend it if you are into um, the deities for yourself as well and now that I understand how to open and close this cover, this should work a little bit better now. Hopefully it'll just slide on and slide off now that I've got it. And if it doesn't, then we'll just go with the one I have. Yeah, because this is tiny. So we'll just do it that way. So until next time, Vendithian, take care.